Hi there, this is another episode of Objection Handling 101 series. Last time we were talking about Acknowledge. If you've missed it, you'll find the link in the description. In short, to acknowledge means letting know the person that has asked the question or stated an objection that their concerns have been heard. Today we are talking about probe or probing. What does that mean? Well, in short, that means that you need to make sure that you understand the customer's question. Oh, you have acknowledged, you've told the customer, yeah, I get you, I'm like you, but now you need to make sure before you actually go and answer the question to make sure that you understand what they're asking. And to do that, you'll have to ask one or more uh, probing type of questions to get to the bottom of the issue. Sometimes customers state an objection or have a question which is a result of their thought process. They don't really tell you what they're thinking behind the question, but they're asking a question. And it doesn't necessarily mean that their concern is really embodied in this question. So this is why you have to probe to understand what the real issue is. Why should we probe the question? Well, imagine if we start to answer a question that hasn't been asked at all, what will happen? We'll lose the audience and it's going to be hard to get them back on track. So even when you're sure that you've 100% understood the question, it doesn't hurt to repeat that question back and ask them if that's what they're asking. A simple way to do it is something like this. Before I go ahead and answer your question, let me just make sure that I've understood it properly. You're saying that blah, blah. That's all you have to do to probe a question. Another effective technique to probe the question or understand the underlying concern is to say something like this. So before I go ahead and answer the question, let me just ask how you are doing this today. What this does is if the customer goes along with it and explains how they're doing today, you will learn a lot more about the issue, about the underlying concern uh, when they were stating the objection or the question. It will give you much more context to answer the question in the next step. As you're pitching your product, be watchful about any comments a customer may have. You know, sometimes a question that the customer asks is not going to be in a, in a form that you're expecting. It could just be a, a simple comment that sounded like just something that, you know, they weren't expecting an answer to. But as soon as customer makes comments or some remarks, that's always a good opportunity to learn more about their current context. Just stop there and ask them how you're doing today. And if there was a question behind the comment, give them the opportunity to ask the questions. The more questions you get or objections, the better you're going to connect with the customer and more context you'll get to explain your product within their environment. Now let's look how a person is doing the probing in a different type of conversation. How many data categories do you store? Does Facebook store on the categories that you collect? Senator, can you clarify what you mean by data well, there's, categories? Well, there's some past reports that have been out there that indicate that it... That now, this is a very adversarial setting. This is a Senate hearing, which by definition is probably never going to be pleasant for the person sitting against the senators and answer, answering questions. Obviously here, uh, the participants asking questions are trying to get Mark Zuckerberg cornered, um, to get him in trouble, get a confession out of him that he's breaking some data protection rules and regulations. And by probing what he's really doing, is he's narrowing down the question, making sure that he is only going to answer strictly what has been asked for. And he's done it well. So here's the conclusion about probing. Probing allows you to have a discussion with the customer. It allows you to turn the objection or question into a process where you learn more about the customer's context and it helps you further down the line to present better, but in the most immediate effect, it helps you to answer the question that has been asked and save you a ton of effort, ton of time, and keep the presentation on track. First, acknowledge the customer, make them understand that you understand them, and then probe the question 
so that you can really understand what they're asking. These two steps will make it much easier to do the next step, which is answering the actual question. And this is where you shine because you are the product expert. Thanks for watching another episode of Objection Handling 101 on the Better Presales channel. Please like this video if you find it useful and let me know in the comment section what you thought about it, what's your typical probing questions and would be cool if you can describe some typical situations you're facing when you're doing the objection handling. And make sure you subscribe to Better Presales for more content. Thanks.